Okay, welcome back to another segment of Body Transformation. We are day 81. We're here with Nick and Cindy, and we're about to get our way in. And let's go right to the skills. Okay, so we got a we got a number of 190, which brings us to another loss of what, Cindy? Two more pounds. Okay, job well done. We got Nick on the scale now. And we are at 281.8, which brings us down how much, Nick? About three pounds. About another three pounds for Nick. So there we have, between the two of them, another five pound loss. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're gonna take you up to the swimming pool and do a little aquatic work and show you what we can do in the water. So uh, we're gonna head up to that pool right now. Okay, so here we are at the Buell Community Recreation Center swimming pool. It's a beautiful facility. And what we're gonna show you here is the difference. These are the regular weights, of course, we use in the gym. These are seven pounders, regular heavy weights. These are the kind of dumbbells we're gonna use in the water. Now, these are very porous, so they're gonna absorb water which is gonna make them heavy. But uh, training in the water is a little bit uh, less traumatic to the joints. Uh, a little more passive and comfortable. Uh, it's great if you're rehabbing. But today we're gonna to show you a little variation. We're gonna do the same dry land exercises, only done in the water. Cindy's gonna go ahead and do some of the demonstrations while she's in the pool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with some just dumbbell presses. So you take them off and we're gonna do a set of 15 over our head. Ready? Begin. One, two, that's it. Three, four, that's it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and relax. Good. Next exercise we'll go to will just be lateral raises. So we'll be coming from in front of our groin, coming right up out of the water only to parallel. So we'll be coming from this portion up to here. This portion up to here. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of these, go ahead. One, two, good. This is three, this is four, this is number five, six, seven, eight, number nine, and number 10, good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do some lower body exercises by doing some wheelbarrow pickups. We're going to do 10. Okay, here we go. It's hard to get them down there. It's a little bit tougher now with the water because you have that buoyancy, so it makes the exercise a little tougher. Two. Three. This is four. This is five. This is six. This is seven, this is eight, this is nine, and this is 10, good. Now, if we just get to this end of the pool right here, Cindy, what we're gonna have you do is kinda do some high march steps, moving your dumbbells through the water to one end and back. Yes, but you wanna make sure you're moving your hands as you're marching. It's tough if you've ever been in a swimming pool, you know that running or jumping in a swimming pool is not as easy as it looks. Plus, remember, those uh, dumbbells she's using are picking up water, so it's making it more difficult to move. So she's marching along there, doing a hammer curl, alternating as she goes. You're going to turn around, Sin, you're going to go back. So Cindy will tell you, this is no joke, this is the real deal. Okay, we want to do 10 jumping jacks now. So let's go ahead and get started. Ready? One, two, there we go. This is three, good. This is four, good. This is five. This is six, good. This is seven. This is eight. This is nine. And this is 10, good. Now we're gonna come over to the pool here. We're just gonna hang on to the side, Sin. Okay, we want to do some abduction, adduction work just raising our leg up and down. 15 times, keep the leg straight, up and down, good. 
That's three. Good. This is four. This is five. This is number six. This is number seven. And we're going to switch. Go to the next leg. How's that, Cindy? Good? Once again, the nice thing about working in the water is very passive. It's not as traumatic to the joints. So it's very comfortable. If you've had any injuries, recovering from any surgeries, this is probably the better route to go. And it can also be very aerobic, and she'll attest to that as she ran down one end of the pool and back. Stop when you get 15. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come back over this way. We're gonna put our back against the, the back of the pool here. We're gonna take these dumbbells, holding them up. We're gonna come down, touch our shoulders, and do some dumbbell tricep extensions, like we do when we lie down. Two, working on the triceps. Three, four, five. This is six, seven, eight, number nine, number 10. You're gonna rest them down on the trough here. Now, what you're gonna do is just hang on. Let's get some gate swings in the water. So do a little more abduction, adduction work by doing a balance drill. And she's gonna do a little gate swing work. That's one, 10 each leg. Good, two, three, good. This is four. Very good, this is five. This is six, good. This is seven. This is number eight. This is number nine. This is number 10, let's go to the next leg. One, this is two, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, and 10. How'd that feel? Okay, now let's just finish off with some one-legged writing. Okay, let's point the toe and let's go ahead and write in the water. So we have the toe pointed, Cindy's gonna stand on one leg for balance and she's gonna do a little one-legged writing now in the water, one through 10. One, two, that's it, three, that's four, five, eight, nine, and 10. And as you can see, Nick's over there working hard. Uh, Nick couldn't join us today because uh, he's going to do a little dry land training. He forgot his swimsuit. Uh, actually, he brought his scuba suit, but I told him we weren't doing any deep water work today. It was all in the shallows. So he was unprepared, and we weren't. Put a bathing suit on. Other girls would be mobbing me. Well, we also, we also weren't. The kind of suit he brought was a G string. We weren't prepared for that today. <laughs> okay, so now here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish off a little calf work, hands on our hip, and we're going to go up on our toes 15 times. Begin. One, there we go. Two, up and down, there we go. Three, I'm on my way down. Four, five, four, and five. Good job. Okay, well, we're gonna head downstairs. That gives you a brief insight on some aquatic training in the water, some exercises you can do. Cindy demonstrated for you. Uh, we're gonna get back downstairs, get Cindy dried off, do a little more weight training, and uh, talk to Cindy and Nick before we close out. Good job. Uh, okay, in our closing statements, I'm getting out. Yes. Um, in our closing statements, we want to say that Cindy and Nick have made progress. We have uh, a lot of distractions in the background, but we have uh, a total loss of, I think, was it five pounds? I lost two. Two and another three, three from Nick. So a total of five pounds on day 80, uh, 81. So we're doing well. Cindy demonstrated some water aerobics for you. Anything you have to say in closing? How's everything going for you, Cindy? It's going fine. Everything's going good. You're uh, pleased. Yes. You're making some headway. I'm making headway. Okay, good job. Well done. Now we're heading into the holidays. Remember that, so they're going to get their true test. Nick. Okay, well, until we see you next time, we're closing up. Uh, this is another segment of body transformation. Until we see you next time, God bless. Stay healthy.